Libra Sun and Cancer Moon type of Libra. This is one of the most caring Libra there is. Because you got you you only not, not only care in the mind, but you also care emotionally. So Libras are stylish. These are the elegant people who know how to charm. These are the charmers, the bright ones. We're talking about fashion, ooh, it's up to par. So we're talking about Libra, we're talking about these smart intellectual beings who appear to be cool, calm. It's a lot of you, you know what I mean? They're your friend. They are, they are one of the most kindest signs there is. And then you got the Libra emotions, which is Cancer Moon. It's the moon itself. This is a powerful placement. Because not only is the motion in two till, the motion is no. So when the logic mixed up with the in two till nature of Cancer, this type of Libra here. They're very nurturing and caring and know your thoughts and know your ways. Good at psychology. And knowing how to find a solution to people's problems. And they definitely like to like to understand you and like to know you and like to know how they can help you. So these type of Libras are already highly intellectual. They deal with the air. They, they are the cardinal, which means the leader of communication and the leader of creating new ways of how to communicate and creating new ways how to express them, express themselves. So they're very creative. So they're very good at creating new punchlines, new stories, creating and know how to tell stories. So when you got the cancer, the moon in them, this gives them the ability to express themselves emotionally, put little feelings in it that way you can feel what they're saying. Not only does they speak it, you can feel it, and so it's gonna be it's gonna come in the emotional way. So in a minute, I'm going to go through the 12 ascendant signs. So not only do we have Libra Sun and Cancer Moon people, but also we're going through all the 12 ascendants. So if you are a Libra Sun and Cancer Moon, what is your ascendant? So I'm going to go through the 12 in a minute. So, but the Libra is the highly intellectual who love knowledge, who love to learn, who love different perspectives, different points of view. Who makes a great judge a character, who are weighing up the scales, who are weighing it up. So if, if the te- if the scale over tilt, the coolest people you've seen on the planet, and you might think they're the coolest, the most peaceful peaceful people on the planet, but on the downside, those scales tilt and go. It's so much on the, on that scale, and you come against these folks, they can be some of the most dangerous people there is. Because not only is the scale tilt, but their emotions reflect. The cancer, the moon traits, which makes them, the motions are very powerful. So these people come strongly. The way they come, they might just explode because it's the motions. It's the moon. So when you got Libra, which is already a nurturing sign with Venus, then you got the moon is your, your inner self, which is the moon. So within you, you are the moon child, the moon person. No matter if you are a Libra that's a man or a woman, if your emotions is cancer, it makes you definitely psychic where you can feel other people's emotions through your body. Where you can feel other people's emotions and understand it. Because you you go through your whole life trying to master your emotions. Not only to stay balanced mentally, but also to stay balanced emotionally. So it's all deal with love. Your love for people. Relating to people. I relate. Not only relate, you got to feel them. So if you can feel a person... This will make it better. If you don't feel them, you're not going to deal with them like that. As far as hanging around them, being around them. Because this deals with Libra, the sun, that I relate. But also the Cancer Moon, I feel. I relate to what I feel. And so this is how I operate right here. Now I'm going into the sentence in, in, in a minute. Because the sentence is going to be your mask that you put on. It's a part of your personality too. So the sentence is going to be your natural self and your body. The body that all of this is in. Like, Libra Sun is the core energy, the soul, but then the reflection of the soul is the moon, your emotions. So, this is your inner self, your true self is the Cancer Moon. So, this type of Libra you really are. So, deep inside, the only way they'll be able to know that, they got to tap into that. Or be able to recognize it and pay attention. So, as you compare to be just a cool Libra until they see this side where you're very emotional. But within, you got a whole ball of energy that's flowing there in rhythm. Within you, your gut intuition is balling. You know who you can be around and who you can't. Because you're super smart, so you know how to move. So not only is you Classinthians, 
or could be class sentience because in some form it could be an empath or, or be empathic to the energy. Yeah, you have empathy to the energy. So with that being said, a Libra is already the one who can see the big picture, which is clairvoyance like. A Libra is already uh, clairvoyance like and highly intuitive because they just know the human nature. But you got the moon to help you within you. You can feel it and you just know. So this makes you more psychic. One of the most psychic Libra's placement there is because you got the Libra with the Cancer Moon. So you love the home life. You love the family. You're all about the family. You're all about structure. You're all about being organized um, and um, having a balanced and stable life. Stability means a lot in your life. So if you're going to nurture the family, care for the family, but sometimes you can tend to dominate the family. So watch out for that. And you can go to, go through battles or feel like you're going to war with family sometimes but you definitely will give honor to the women in your family especially your mother not only the woman but to the ones you love in general it can be male or female if you love them you will protect them so that you will protect those it's a need to protect them see this is cancer is your emotions so it's a, it's a need for you to protect them this type of leave you are it's a need to protect your family by any means even you will die for them because it's within you that you're really feeling it. If you don't fulfill your needs, you'll you definitely go through it. Suffer. So you're not going to suffer yourself because Libras don't like to suffer. Libras like peace and harmony. And so Libra is the core, but the reflection of your core is the moon. And so this being said, you might have like Venus and moon features mixed. You know what I mean? Venus and, mu and, and the moon features because Venus like beauty. Not only the beauty of the physical beauty, but you most likely like the soul. It's the personality. It's the kindness. It's the nice. It's the beauty of that. The, be the beauty of people's attitude that really counts. So you really will go to the screen to help people. You know what I mean? You will. And it's how you feel. You're the type of leader you deal with. It's how I feel. If you don't feel like doing that, you're not going to do it. And if you feel like doing it at that minute, you will do it. And then at any minute, your moves change. So once you be able to learn how to control your emotions, you will win because you're going to always uh, catch the moon vibe, especially when the moon come out at night during the moon period, full moon, any type of moon cycle. You're going to feel it. You know what I mean? Within your body. You can see, you feel your emotions coming on strong. You can say, oh, the moon must be out. So this type of, this type of pers uh, personality you have and connection you have with the moon. And so, the mother is very sacred. Woman is very sacred. The culture is very sacred because you deal with the culture. So you type, you have a need to search for the, for what the ancestors is and what, what a coach is, what culture that you belong to, and to do uh, searching into your family history. So this type of leader you are. So first of all, you're going to be stylish, looking keen, and talk very nice, calm, very charming. You got a different style the way you talk. The way you talk, it will be in style. You come up with your own words, and you just love it. You like to play with the mind too, which is the intellect. You like to play with thoughts. You're always thinking. You can overthink. But it's your intuition that's going to take over because it's your need within that you're going to try to fulfill. See, the Libra is what you strive to be as you continue to, to go into this life. See, the moon is who you truly are within you. See what I'm saying? So this side operates. So you're going to live by the moon expression. You're going to do things that deals with, with that need. See, anytime you need something, need, 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 and, and, and this makes you feel like life, the moon going to be the sole operator. See, the lever going to play a part of help you to control yourself because it's the mind control to deal with the air. But what's in your air, beneath your, beneath your air or in your air is the water. <sighs> so you carry that water. You can be the hurricane among those who come against you. So they don't want that. So with this being said, tell me to your emotions, your feelings, because it play a part. Your sensuality is very high. You like to be you like empathy. You like empathy. Being be like being close to those you love or have a close bond with your mate. Be you all into them. So you got the romantic type of personality, and you live by integrity. You got to be balanced. You got to live by truth, and you're very honest. If you don't live by truth or honest, it's gonna hurt within you. You're going to ball with emotions and you can't take it. You could explode. You could be thinking very deadly and very um, destructive. So you have to do what's right. 
You're the type of leader that had to do it right because your emotions is what bother you, and it's a powerful force. But the thing is, you got the ability to recognize that, be, to be introspective, to pay attention to your thoughts. So you just make sure a leader that has good memory, good memory, very good memory. And so you just this type of leader that has good memory. For you are the Libra with the Cancer Moon. Now, when you're the Libra Moon and your rise sign or your, or your sentence is Aries, Mars is your chart ruler. So you can be the aggressive type of Libra. But what's banished you out is the Libra itself and the moon, the water. But you the type, when people first see you, you can be the one who is sighted and stands strong. They can see a strong individual who do what they want to do. You do what you like because it's the Aries, the water spirit. So you, you can be the superhero and want to save other people from personalities. So you'd be the type of leader that's a fighter off the riff. As soon as somebody talk that ish, you'd be ready to fight. Not only fight physically because some of you, for some of you don't even fight physically because of the Libra trait that will balance it out. But some of you do. But also you'll fight emotionally. You'll fight all around the border, mentally too. You know what I mean? You like to argue, debate, and like to win in the debate because Aries like to win at everything it do. So that makes you the type who like to create because it's a cardinal sign, so it means you're a leader. So you like to create events and things to do, to, and like new uh, ways to do things. And you always come up with something new, got all these ideas. So this type of Aries you are that's in Libra because when you got Mars and Venus together because Mars is masculine and Venus is female energy but you got the moon inside this is a great balance right here this is a great balance so your emotions are very deep and very strong within you so you're a very strong personality not only with Mars energy as the one who could be very hyper hyperactive and always moving and always on the go and always doing something. And you need a variety to do before you get bored. But also emotionally. Your emotions is balling. Because you, you, your earthly body deals with Mars energy. So within the Mars energy. The Mars already, your body already balling. With the flames. And within that is that water. That water be balling. And then you got. Then you got your, your leader mind. Which is the conscious mind. Which is the air. And so woo, the air. The Libra can direct this energy. So that's a good thing that. The Libra is there because Libra could direct that energy to something that's positive. So with the proper balance, thinking right, and um, doing the right thing, living in integrity, you can utilize this energy to help many. Because you, you could be the hardest work on the planet. You could also be the most creative individual on the planet. And also one of the most humanitarian type individual on the planet. As long as you don't be selfish, because Aries can be selfish. All about me. But with the Libra, Libra make you think twice. And the Cancer is the nurturing sign, so you can put your emotions in check because you got two cardinal, well, you got all three cardinal signs, matter of fact, because Libra is a cardinal sign, so you got a lot of leadership within you. So it's best for you to take any leadership position. You can't even be no follower because it's hard. Or you won't pay no attention. Any organization or any group that you're in, you won't pay attention to the individual or to what they're doing. And you won't give your best if you're not in a leadership position because you got three cardinal signs. So when you got Libra, Sun, and you got Cancer, Moon, and you got Aries rising, and you ascend with the Mars energy, you that energy, that fun loving, that party, the party going person who like to think big and do it big, who don't like the small matters. Wow, this is powerful. So anytime you explode, because Mars is your natural reaction. It's natural reaction. It just happened out of nowhere because this is your sentence, your rising. It's one of the most important signs, if not the most important, out of your sun and your moon sign. So this type of Libra you are. Libra is the core of who you are. But what holds everything in, that holds the core and that holds, that holds your emotion is the cosmic body, which is Mars. And so your face or your head is very important. Scars on your body. So watch out for that. But you the type who take initiative and take the lead. I mean, without no doubt, stay stay confident and like to motivate others. You hate to see weakness. You like strength. And so you don't really mess with petty people. You like to mess with people who are about something because you think big and you 
I always want to be the best and I always want to win because you just you just type of a Libra with the Aries. Wow, this is powerful. So with Mars in your chart, your sexity would be to the highest and you ain't scared to perform. You ain't scared to perform yourself and carry yourself out in the sexual matter or talk about it because there's that Mars energy that's out in the front street and don't care what nobody say because you'll be very blunt and very harsh and you can start stuff for nothing. So watch out for that. But this gives you a highly intuitive ability show sure enough because it put fire in it that amplify your moon and your and the way you think so this fire ain't but energy is light add more light to it so you got a lot of energy within you so you heal quickly and everything so this being said now when you got libra sun cancer moon and taurus rising ooh, venus rule your chart you already got venus as a libra the way you think but now this is how the Libra play out now is through the earthly body with the motions in the center. So not only is you an empath, you are also clairsentient and you could be clairaudience and clairvoyance. You can have all the psychic abilities, abilities and be the medium. And so how this play out is the way you operate will be like a Taurus being cool, calm, collective, observative, paying attention. You can be very reserved, but within you, Within you, the core is the Libra Sun. So when they see that Libra Sun, you the type who like the party. You know what I'm saying? Who really like, who can really have fun mentally. Not only mentally, but emotions because you deal with, with the cancer energy. So you make you a visionary, the one who, who very imaginative. Because cancer is also very imaginative. Then you got Libra that deal with the mind anyway. So that makes you very imaginative, very clairvoyance like. So as the Taurus ascendants, you definitely are clairvoyance. You definitely are clairvoyance. And when it comes to making money and what you value is very important. Your self-worth is very important. So whatever you believe in, this is what you would go hard for. You got the, not only the thinking ability, you also got the intuitive ability to see the big picture. And so how you win is to stay grounded and stay stable, but also Use your, your your thoughts and your intuitive abilities to accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. So being persistent um, is a part of you. Being consistent is part of you. And um, whatever you got your mind set on, you will accomplish and achieve because it's all about money to you. But it really ain't about the money. It's really about what money can do for you, like living good, living wealthy. You, you want to live your best life because you deal with the good life. Venus is the good life. Not only do you think of it, but also you carry it out in the earthly ways. So your emotions are very important. So to satisfy your emotions, which is the moon, you got to be nurturing while you're doing anything. Nurturing, caring, and showing your love and helping people. And you feel good when you when you got people who do love you. So it's for you to balance yourself out, balance out your emotions, and... uh. Do things that's nurturing and caring and open a business that deal with nurturing and caring because it's your moon sign. And Libra is the one that'll catch you, that'll carry you there because Libra it will give you the ability to think of ways to operate this business and to come up with plans and formulas to create this business. And so with the Taurus energy, you got a dominant persistence and to give you the ability to stay stable while you're doing it and to be patient and calm. And so making money to you is all type of ways. You just love nature. You do things that deal with landscape and anything that deal with food, restaurant, the restaurant business. So with this being said, this is how you operate. So now when you got Libra, Sun, Cancer, Moon, and Gemini rise and you ascend in the Mercury light, that's the fast life. So your life will fast. The way you move is fast. The way you think is fast. And even if you talk slow, you would think fast. You still operate fast. And so with this being said, you got, we got Mercury there. This makes you a thinker. This makes you a thinker is how people see you, how you appear to be a thinker. Your cosmic body deal with, with, with speed, with Mercury. So in your car, it's fast. It's speedy. But within your car, you got the Libra Sun, which is the driver. And you got the engine, which is the Cancer Moon. The engine is powerful. So you got a powerful engine because it's emotional in, uh, engine. And this engine deals with what you love that deal with the mind. The soul essence, uh, 
So essence is Libra. So Libra deal with thinking, communication, deal with the mind. But we got Gemini to match it. That makes you more mental. Not only mental, but add the mind and emotions. So most emotional intelligence than anything. Where you understand emotions. But you're the type who could be a great teacher. A great teacher because you love information. And you can be a spokesperson. That makes you a great speaker. And they're knowing how to communicate in many ways and transform languages and have understanding of languages have an understanding of the word so this makes you a great advisor anything that deals with giving a message because you are the messenger so being a messenger is simple to you um always into the new into the news always reading always into the paper always trying always seeking knowledge uh, information on some of everything so you the type your brain might be scattered everywhere might be hard for you to finish a task a finish anything because you stay on the move you stay on the go you stay on the move you stay on the go so you got to slow down and be able to channel your energy so you can be able to finish what you're doing because you definitely the thinker you definitely uh could be have telepathy powers telepathy and you clear audience all of this in one so you're highly intuitive and so the moon will give you the clear sentient ability so you just give you the ability to be that that true psychic which is supposed to be and so with that being said you're here to help bring people together, you know how, just through the word of, persu of persuasion and communication. But you also can be a trickster and trick your own self because you're always changing in your thoughts. And you can't make a decision with the Libra there. So when you got the Cancer Moon, this right here, have you all in your feelings when you're doing that. So you got to get yourself right so you won't be all into your feelings. Because you got to please that middle, that center, which is the moon. You got to please your emotions. And that's through nurturing, being caring. And and that's through showing your love and also receiving love. So it's for you to to have self love. Self love will help you make it through there because you don't need nobody approval. Because cancer is your moon and you already had the love to to reach the higher frequency. So you don't have to worry about nothing. So when you got the cancer moon there, the center is the moon. This your true self. So this makes you the one who to elite know how to communicate and to elite know how to think. Because you got the Libra who's the controller, like anything get out of line, the Libra can back it. But a Libra, but a Libra can come in, into agreement with, with the moon and the Senate sign. So that being said, sometimes the Senate can take over, vice versa. The moon can take over, the Senate can take over, and sometimes the sun sign take over. So none of them really outpower each other. They just come into alignment. So when it comes to agreement, it be over education because this is your your Gemini sign and this is your Libra that deal with knowledge itself anyway. And cancer is more nurturing and caring. And so all this, how it's going to play out is that information is the key to your life. Information, socialization, connecting with people, people is very important. And having a whole list of people you can talk to and communicate with. And if you don't have that, that I mean, you don't feel like living. You don't feel like life. So continue to be that teacher and, and be the one as the spokesperson that you're supposed to be. Now we got Libra Sun and Cancer Moon and Cancer Ascendance. The moon is the center of your nature. You got more water than anything in you. So the moon will take over. Not only will you have the stylist, uh, charismatic personality, but you have the charismatic, emotional personality. So you be too protective over those you love. Because not only this is your inner self, you also will ascend as a cancer, even though you're a Libra. You feel more like a cancer, even though you're a Libra. Because you be so into your feelings when you talk. But the feelings, when you start off, it will be kindness. Very kind, very friendly. And that's some of the Libra trait too. So Libras are also nurturing. So, so sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. But they will know when you get too deep into your feelings. Because the cancer is very explosive. But Libra could be explosive too, and Libra could hold a lot. So by cancer being, being your shell, the way you move, you appear to be smooth and nothing bother you or go under your skin. You know what I mean? But within you, you hold a lot. What somebody done, what somebody said, because you're the one who know a person's birthday. You know everybody's birthday in, in your family. You love your family more than anybody. You love your culture. You love where you grew up, grew up at. So you're always representing that. So... That's the cancer trait. All represent the culture and where they grew up, grew up at. If this is your cancer moon or any of the signs, this is how it will be. So this is the cancer ascendance. The moon is your chart ruler, which makes you definitely inclined to, 
to tap into your psychic nature. Not only your clairsentience, you also could be clairvoyance and open up other aspects of of your psychic ability. So you highly intuitive and you just know people that can't lie to you. You know when a person needs help and you know what they need to survive. You know their skills, you know their talents. You know what I mean? Because you like the mother, the nurturing spirit. So it makes you more of a nurturer and more love the mother and love the family and all those. It makes you more protective of those. When you got the Cancer Moon or Ascendance. So this going gonna to amplify the Cancer Moon that's within you. Not only within you, they're going to see it on the outward side. And so sometimes it'll be hard to tell if you're a Libra or not. Because you're going to be more Cancer than the Cancer Sun. With this placement, because the Cancer Moon is one of the strongest play, placement that's within you, but then this your sentence, this is even more strong because it's your body. See what I'm saying? So, boom, here we have it. So, now, so it makes you your ultimate healer. All cancers like the healer because they always nurturing wounds, like the nurse, and up and, and, and they just know people and people can't lie to them. So, they, they are the human lie detectors. So, now, this is how you move you move through your emotions. And you move in style through your emotions. You totally know people. You can bond with people easily. You know what I mean? Connect with anybody. You kind to anybody. Anybody who need help, you there. So now, when you got Libra Sun and Cancer Cancer Moon, and you got uh, Cancer Moon and Leo rising, because Leo is the one who love to have fun. The 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 one that you always see cheerful, always smiling, cheerful. Happy, go lucky people, all about life, very positive on the upside. And um the one who's upbeat, who don't really like ugly stuff, who really like beautiful stuff. And they see the beauty in everyone and everything. And these people are very are, are very loyal to those who they're close to because you gotta understand that you gotta understand that Leo is fixed. So whatever Leo fix on, this is what Leo gonna be stuck on. It's gonna be hard to change the Leo, cause Leo's natural leader, even without saying a cardinal or any sign, they are naturally a leader. So with Leo, Leo is the type who will inspire you, motivate you to do right. It ain't no such thing as I can't, as I could, cause Leo gonna show you how you could. It gonna be an example of what is. They gonna be an example of what's right and what's wrong, and they gonna show you. And so Leo out of, out of the performers, the fun lover who will entertain you, even if they have nobody to entertain, they will entertain themselves. So Libras can, I mean, Leos can never be bored. And so when you got the, the Libra, the the Libra as your sun sign, that makes you more fun because you got to understand that, that Libras are fun too. It's an upper sign. It's an upper triangle. So then you got cancer in, in the center. This makes you more practical with it. So Cancer will balance you out and make you more practical. Not only the fun lover, cancer gonna bring you to reality. Your, your moon sign gonna bring you to reality or what it is. Not only do you live by your heart, but you also got the cancer that's over your heart. So so Leo is all about your heart. That's the body part that Leo rule over. But you got cancer that, that's the breast over the heart. So boom, you definitely protect it. The mother protects the son. So boom, this is how it operates. So you got the moon protecting. The, the Leo energy, the fun level energy, you cannot win because you can see if somebody doing something wrong and you know uh, when it's time to have fun, when it's time to uh, put your creative talents out there. You know, because that's what the moon lets you know. It lets you know when to have fun. And you're very careful and very observant, very security oriented because Cancer is very security oriented. This Cancer moon in general is security oriented. So when you are a Leo sun, you you know, you know how to move. You got wisdom, and Leo give you the spirits to accomplish anything, any goal, any objective. Even open up a business, you do good in business. That I mean, cause cancer gonna put you in check and put you, cause the, the security of cancer gonna put you in the right order. But when you got Leo, I mean Libra as your thinker, Libra will help you reason it out. See what I'm saying? With the Leo energy, you just ain't gonna be so impulsive like the regular Leo. Because you got Libra, the thinker, but you also got the moon, who's, who's security or impractical, who will help you uh, level things out. It's so boom. As long as you ain't on the downside where you can be so bossy, so dominant, and, and don't care what nobody thinks because that's Leo energy, that I mean you'll win. As long as you learn how to become one with everyone, 
This how you move because the sun is your child ruler. You got sun all, all through there in every house. So you are the sun, basically, because that's how important that the rising sign is. So now, when you got Libra, when you got Libra, sun, Cancer moon, and Virgo rising, Mercury is your child ruler, but it's Mercury earth. So you ground it in the earth. Your body is the earth. So boom. You, you most like to have a long head like the Virgo, but have nice features and, and beautiful qualities about you. And so with this being said, like Leo will rise, like look, look shiny and look, have a beautiful complexion because the sun personality, you can see a person with Leo rise and uh, uh, complex glow. But you out of type will have like earthly, but you will look more neat but like a longer slender or like a long head a long a long body something like that you know what i mean so you'd be more slender like so, so virgo a uh, v-shape head a v-shape you know so virgo is more analytical so this makes you more analytical as, as how you come off more observant more into the to the mind more than anything not only an empath because you like to help people you like to serve Cause we help people serve. It definitely, definitely, we help you, we help you win inside your soul. Cause you gotta understand that Cancer Moon love to nurture. So Virgo like to do it in a practical way, not only through through emotions as as a Cancer Moon, but Virgo like to carry it out in an earthly way. And so this this will be an easy connection, not only mentally nurturing, not only emotional nurturing, but also earthly, put it into action, apply it. So every knowledge that you get, sometimes you would like to have facts. Sometimes you don't want to go by your intuition, you need facts. And sometimes you will go by your intuition, but you have facts to back it up because it's the Virgo. Virgo love facts. They don't just like to go by your emotions because you're a Virgo ascendance. And so it'd be a mixture. Sometimes it's logical thinking. Sometimes it's your intuition, and sometimes it's, it's your intelligence with facts. And so, with it being said, you got to understand because you got the, the Libra, you got the, the Cancer, and you got the Virgo. And so, you, so it's best for you to balance out and use all of it. Use your use your intellect, use your um your emotional intelligence or your emotions, your intuition, and also facts. But you don't you must not always go by facts because your intuition will be enough. So, with it being said. It makes you a very nurturing, caring, serving person, health conscious, health nut, the one who love to stay healthy, the one who, who always observative, always worry, worry about your family, worry about those you love, worry about this, and who, who can be very critical towards others. So watch out for that. You know what I mean? Watch out for being critical and downplaying others because you can do all that. So you got Libra who can help you to be stylish. So you can have, see how, how, how it play out. Is you have the Libra traits, the Moon traits, and whatever your sentence is, all mixture of how your face is gonna shape or your looks. So all this play a part of different sections of your body part because all three of these signs is a part. So we got the Virgo here. Virgo like to find practical ways and solutions to solve people's problems. So Virgo, oh, it's all about improvement. Virgo love love improvement. So you the type who love to see people improve and do good, and you will help those who do. Do good because you like to see people improve. But those who don't, you ain't going to be all up on them like that. You gonna, you ain't going to you ain't paying no attention. See what I'm saying? So we got the Virgo here. The Virgo love to serve. Virgo like to do the little things. Do 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 anything to help somebody. So that being said, not only does it make you a nurse, a doctor, a surgeon, but also you have a scientific mind. You can be a scientist in everything that you choose to be. So this makes you good in business because you got to your mind pay attention to details a lot. The most analytical sign as a Virgo ascendance. So this your ascendance. This is how you ascend and you arise. And that can stop. Now, when you got Libra Sun, Cancer Moon, and Libra rising, this makes you more Libra than a little bit. So basically, right here, what plays out, you got Moon, the Moon, and Venus the most. Because you got Venus two times. So you got a lot, a lot of Venus in there. Be a moon, the moon in the center. The moon in the center is powerful itself. So basically, it's basically two traits, basically that you talk about: the smooth, cool Libra with a smooth, calm, uh, emotional Cancer within. And both of these signs is nurturing and caring and loving. And so you you would ascend as a Libra. You you ascend to be talkative, 
uh, kind, very kind, very nice when people first meet you, talkative, playful, happy, light, mm -hmm. and who love life, who can see the bigger picture, who look at everybody uh, uh, perspectives and don't take sides because you out of scale, you make you make great judgment and you know if somebody trying to deceive you because because you can see through people, you can see the human nature of people. So definitely you're an empath and definitely cast sentience and definitely highly intuitive with knowing the human nature. That's just part of who you are. So with it being said, you're the type who are the creative artists. You like arts, you like museums, you like going to places, like doing things. So this part of the basic Libra trait. Libra is the upper happy sign, but it's an air sign. So the air means you're a cardinal air. I mean, you like to take the lead when creating something that deal with the air, creating new thoughts and new words and new ways, new philosophy. So philosophy is part of you and, and the new ways of doing something because you, you're you a good planner. Calibras are a good planner, so that makes you a good planner and you know how to move, you know how to operate. So when somebody first see you, you definitely lend them a hand. But not all, not everybody because you got a mind to let you know who is trying to deceive you and who not. And so you can see the big picture through the Libra traits. Calibras like the judge of all the Zodiacs. So who is the judge can judge anybody. They can judge the president. They can judge people with high authority. So the judge is overall. So boom, you carry the scales. So you got to do what is right. If you don't, you will see it. You will see it. Because your skin can change colors, which means you have skin problems. You will go through it emotionally. And they can see it when you're, when you're not right. You're unbalanced. It's because you're very snappish, very cruel to people. So now when you got Libra, Sun, Cancer Moon and Scorpio rising, you'll send with Scorpio, this would be more like, okay, Libra is love and the Cancer is intuitive, love and intuitive powers. Or you can say uh, Libra is more like stylish, intuitive powers because Scorpio deal with power. It's a strong sign. It's tough. Or you can say intuitive, you can say uh, a Libra intuitive the two to the tough, uh, tough love like that there. So, or you could, could the, and two to the part come from not only cancer, but it also come from, from Pluto. The Pluto love the mysteries of life. Pluto love the dark side of life. Pluto <laughs> you can admire people from a distance. So, you just type of scope of you are, you can admire people from a distance. And the thing is, you do love people, and this is how you operate through love, through your emotions. It's love powers, emotional powers, intuitive powers, psychic powers. It's the mystery, solid mystery type powers, energy that you carry as a Libra sun, uh, Cancer moon, Scorpio rising. This is how you sin. So nobody can stop you and touch you when it comes to your power. You're a powerful individual. You don't need no book because you have all you need. All you got to do is pay attention to your own nature and pay attention to nature itself and the way the plants grow and the way how things operate. And you, you got the... And you got the power to understand it more than anybody. So you deal with overstanding what energy is un and understanding how the spiritual realm work and, and how to decode it and bring out the truth. So so you are the truth seeker and the one who will be good as a therapist, a psychologist and anything that deal with the social field uh, and helping people. So you'd be very good at that and and. and Laying your power down because you don't take take no shorts, you don't play no game, and you can be very serious minded. But with this being said, you are that power. It's love power, emotional power, mind power. Because you got Libra mind power, you got to cancel emotional power, then you got the mind emotional power, <laughs> which is Libra mind, emotion cancer, and Scorpio power. So it's very powerful. So this is a very powerful combination. You're very st uh, stylish and, and you don't like to be done by nobody because you're very competitive. It's just like Aries, just like Aries rising. So you are competitive too and you don't like to be, you don't like to lose. And just like Leo rising, don't like to lose at all. So this is part of your energy. So just keep it moving and you will win. Do things that you love to do, you will win because you got your own way of doing things. So it's best for you to open your own business and do things your way. Because you have power struggles with male authority figures or anybody who's in power who try to rule over you, or because you don't you don't do good with other people leading anything or ruling over you, and and you don't ride people coat coattails at all. You you got your own way of doing things. You ride your own ways. 
And so this is why it's good for you to create your own ways at this type of Libra. Libra Sun, uh, Cancer Moon, and Scorpio Rising. Because the Pluto is your child ruler. Power. This is the planet of power, which means this, this is what you would have a fight over. This is, what, this is what you would try to rise to, your powers. And coming to your powers, your psychic powers, your tutor powers, uh, your mind powers, uh, anything that deal with power in general, physically, mentally, emotionally. Now, when you're a Libra sun, uh, Cancer Moon and Sagittarius rising, Jupiter is your child ruler. Ain't nobody stopping you. I say, this is the expansion. The way the way you arise, you ascend, you span, you span, cause you whatever Jupiter touch, it expands. So you your style will be expansion. You uh, think big, do it big, uh, big personality, very cheerful, super cheerful. Go to the screen. Uh, when you're very cheerful, you're cheerful, you're cheerful, you're cheerful. You up, you upbeat it, upbeat it. Cause you're very talkative, and very competitive, very strong, but you're a free spirit. A free spirit, very free spirit, and you love to learn. And we learn, you like learn, learn in a big way. Learn, 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 learn. You don't stop. You like to learn, and so you like learn from not just one person, but from some of everybody. And what you learn, it turns to wisdom. For you, you got your own ways of thinking and bringing philosophy together. So it makes you more clairvoyant than anybody because you can see the big picture. It makes you highly intuitive more than anybody when it comes to spirituality, because spirituality is very important to you. Getting to know other people, other cultures is very important to you. Even if you don't embrace their culture, their ways, and their tradition, it's, you still like to know another person's culture and the way they think and their thoughts and their ways. That don't mean that you're going to embrace it because you ain't that type. You got your own ways. You stand on your own. But you're the type who just love to learn. And some of that stuff you will learn from. You will grab. But you got to be true because you are the true seeker. The true seeker of knowledge. There's true seeker all around. And so we got the sad. The sads would bring justice to the injustice. So you're the type will bring justice with anything that's oppressing you. Best with your freedom. Or anybody who's trying to hold you down. Or when you see others being being uh being done in an injustice way, you're the type who will help bring that justice. Cause you deal with Jupiter energy. Jupiter is another sign that deal with the judge. Not only Libra rising, but Sagittarius too. Sag love to help the weak, the fender of the weak. But Sag also love to bring justice to the injustice. So with that being said, you the type who has a, a natural leading spirit, who are the storytellers of life. A good storyteller, very fun loving, very adventurous. You love to explore every aspect of life and from what you explore, you like to learn. But you could be very emotional and whatever you touch, you will expand. And so not only mind, mind and two uh, or, or or your mind intuition, mental intuition, but it will expand. It will expand through you in, in, in your way. Because when your sun and your moon come together with your your personality, which is which is your rising sign, which is your true personality, uh, the core and your emotions will bond together and it will create expansion when dealing with your intuition and your psychic gifts of seeing the big picture as a clairvoyance, even remote viewing. And so you're the type who knows. You, you, you're the one who love pictures, who love imagery, who love movies, who love, uh, who love any ideas that's new, that's starting something that's new. And so... The way you arise, very kind and very gentle, very respectful. And you have many ways, the way you say things and the way you do things and the way you spread your knowledge. So you're very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. You deal with wisdom. So later later on in your life, wisdom will be you. Your name will be wisdom. And Libra, sun, and Cancer moon will help you carry it out. This will be part of your emotion too. So wisdom, not only the way you think, Part of your emotions and also the way you carry it out. Your natural self. Your natural self is the Sagittarius rising. So Jupiter is your chart ruler. So Jupiter would expand all the house. Expand everything. So you're most likely to succeed because this is a planet of fortune. A, a, a planet of success. A planet that will help you succeed. And a in the planet that will protect you. But also you can have the big complex. The God complex. You can have the big personality. And be all about yourself. And then this is how you will, will fall a fail, so watch out for that. 
So it's for you to balance it out and to slow down when you do anything because you could be superficial and want to do everything at the same time. So it's for you to slow down and do one thing at a time and don't do many because you are the multitasker. So don't do many because this here can hurt you and you can't finish the job. So, so it's for you to be consistent and persistent in whatever you do. And the way you do that is focus on one thing at a time. So when you do many things, you might can't finish it, finish everything. So that being said, this is the Libra Sun, Cancer Moon, and Jupiter Rising Ascendance, or Sagittarius Ascendance. This is the side go. This is how it go. It's all about the teacher life, the sage life for you. You the sage, the teacher. You are the one, the one who is over meditation. Yes, so you're the spiritual master, the spiritual warrior. So this what this, this, this what this represent this vibration. So your belief is very important, and you're gonna believe in something that's spiritual and divine. So that's just part of who you are, it's part of your divine nature. And so with this being said, Libra Sun, Cancer Moon, and Capricorn rise. So when you arise like a cap the corn, you arise like the goat, and the goat. The goat is the one who's practical. The goat can be very on the dark side, so watch it for that. But the goat is organized. The goat is structured. So that's how you arise as a Libra sun. And as a, as a cancer moon, you arise as a goat. And so you you balance out your cancer traits. So this is the brain balance. So you rise like a goat. You rise want to help people. You rise as the one who are thinking about opportunities and ways to come up with businesses. Yes, yeah, so you are the one who who love to do your own thing when dealing with business. Business, business, business is very important to you. And so you deal with power and authority. You're the powerhouse. The powerhouse when dealing with, with organizing structure and ways of getting paid and prosperity. So this is definitely a money sign who, who are a money go-getter. So... You having things, setting a foundation is very important to you. You having something that you can lean on forever. So your legacy is very important as a Capricorn rising. So you're very smart in a practical way, realistic way. You're very smart, very wise. And you will go through it in your years. And you will learn from, from what you go through and become that teacher. You become that teacher. Yes. So Saturn will take you through some things. And you will feel like it's a limitation. Then, then, you, will, then you will learn from 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 these things and become very successful from what you learn from so this will make you wise because you'll go through more than any other sign as a capricorn ascendance so capricorn is all about structure all about being practical and capricorn need a long time to to yourself too you, so you don't always like to be huddled around people you need that alone space to think and, and what you think of is gonna be in a practical sense a practical way because you're very loyal very dedicated to not only your family, but also to your job. Work is very important to you. You wasn't the most hard working out of all Libras. You the one who gonna have things out of out of you you the one who have things mostly out of all Libras. So as you the Libra, the Libra Sun, Castle Moon, you as a Capricorn Ascendant is gonna have gonna have some things. You gonna look sharp and you gonna look the best. The Capricorn do it big. Cause they want recognition. Capricorn want to be looked at in the best light. So imagery is very important to you. The way your image is very important. So you want to look good all around. And you will always straighten up and clean up your act and your image. And you will put out no bad images, even if you're doing something on the low. Uh, doing something that's that's wicked on the low. Something that's terrible on the low. Your image is going to look good, so it's going to be hard to tell. So you will match the way a Libra is when dealing with imagery. A Libra love a good image. So we got Saturn, a Capricorn rise and ascendance, you can be the one who's very calm and professional light. Or if not professional light, you can be very respectful. Very respectful and, tra and traditional. So the way you grew up is very important. And your tradition is very, very important. So your family life is very important. The way you grow up and where you come from, your roots. And so you'll be very clean light. So with it being said, now, if you're a Libra sun, if you're a Libra sun, Cancer moon, Aquarius ascendance, Uranus is your chart ruler. I said Uranus or Uranus is your chart ruler. So the way you ascend, you ascend as somebody who's different, who unique, who has your own way of thinking, 
the own your own way of doing anything. You're very calm, very cool, very chill. But you can be very rebellious against somebody else's thoughts, somebody else's ways of doing things, even for the sake of rebellion. Rebelling, even if they're right, you can rebel just for the sake of it. Because you're the type who will rebel. You deal with rebel. But also, this rebellion has helped you come up with new ways to invent things and new ideas. So this is naturally a part of you. You're naturally highly intuitive. You deal with the higher mind. And so the way you approach life will be in your higher mind. You stay in your thoughts. Your brain stays ticking. Ticking, 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 ticking. Steady going on. And also, you always change it. Changing how you think, changing your ways, your thoughts always changing. So you can think about going to the store. Then all of a sudden you change and want to do something else. You want to go to the park now, change your mind. That's just for example. So you always change. You're the change agent, always change. But you always want to reach your highest potential. You always want to grow to a better you and always curious about humanitarian issues, what's going on in the world. Very curious about some of you. Our politics like 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 look into policies. You don't really want to be into politics, but you just like watching it and see what's going on. If something ain't right, you all like to talk about what what is right and what is not right. And you got new ways of doing things. You always giving out a blueprint of how they should do something. So you the type who like a can a counselor, a counselor and advisor naturally, who got ways of doing things. It's a lot of ways that you see the the way the world operate, you don't like the way they do it. So you your uniqueness it's beautiful to the world. So you definitely the inventor. Always come up with new creations. So you here to, to think outside of the box. And that's how you appear to be to others. You appear to, you appear to be different. Some would say weird. You appear to be doing your own thing. You walk in your own light. Very independent. You know what I mean? So with that being said, but you intuitively uh, read people like it ain't nothing. You know the human nature. You can see what's wrong. And and how you will come up with something is differently than the normal. Like other people might say something, and it's the same old thing that all, all of them could co uh, correlate with. But you want to say something different, but it's still gonna be truthful. So you will come up with something different. Like you here to event and start new trends and set new things up with advanced mind. And so you got advanced soul. So technology is something that you can advance in. Cause you always advancing, so we got Libra Sun. The Libra will connect with uh, Aquarius like it ain't nothing, because both of them air signs. So you got a lot of air. That's that that's you got water in the center. So that being said, your emotions will be balanced out by air. And so that being said, you still will be emotion because you can't stop the strong inner self because the inner self gonna be that inner self, but your emotions is is. Can, can, can relate to Aquarius and Libra. See, Aquarius want to help or, or or bring solutions to the world. But your moon sign will help you actually do that, be practical with it and carry it out because it's a need. It's a need to help people. So you're very giving, very helpful, very caring, but you're also you're security oriented because you got cancer in the center. And so this is the type of Aquarius ascendance you are. So Aquarius, you arise as the truth bringer. So you bring the truth from your intuition. And you also bring the truth from your logical thinking. So you can feel what is right and what is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because Uranus is your cosmic body, the air. You got water inside of there. You can feel what is right and what is wrong. And you just know. Nobody can tell you what is right and what is wrong. So... You live by your own book, your own laws, your own philosophy. Anybody try to stop that, they in trouble because you're going to rebel and you might not mess with them no more or you might just fight. It's either or because you are the one who definitely will stand up for your freedom just like uh, Sagittarius rising, same as you. So Aquarius definitely love their freedom and you like to try things and experiment. So experiment and trying something new is a part of who you are. You, you're here to experiment new things and to explore. And this is what you love to do. You don't like the same old, same old. You don't like to be bored. Like all air signs and fire signs don't like to be bored. So so you the Aquarius rising who definitely can understand people like no other. And so it's for you to be different and do things the way you do it and to come up with new creative ideas because you got the lever to help you and you got your emotions to also to help you create a story 
inside your mind because you can be very meditative. And so you can all you all you can bring all this out and into a different way because Aquarius give you that energy. Now, and you like people who's different. You like people who strange to you, people who's weird. You like look at things that's different and that's weird as Aquarius ascendance. So with it being said, now we're on to the last one, which is Libra Sun, Cancer Moon, and Pisces Ascendance. Whew, there's a lot of water. They got Neptune, so you're the spiritual water. The way people the way people see you. Or the way you approach life is spiritual realm. You're very spiritual, very divine, very loving, very nurturing. You love to help people, especially those who are the underdogs, those who really need it. You dare. And so you're the type who can feel people's emotions. Because Pisces is supposedly to be one of the most psychic signs there is other than cancer. And so this makes you too psychic. You definitely got the ability. You definitely got the psychic gifts. Of Clasinthians, uh empathy, uh, all the psychic ability, even a medium, claircognizance, clairvoyance, clairaudience. You got all of, all of these abilities, all of them. you can tap into all. They very sensitive, so watch out for your emotions. Because with everything somebody say, you might be snappish. So watch out for that. Because people don't mean no harm. It's because you pick up on people's energy like it, like it, like no other. And plus, you pick up on the energy so much, it can drain your energy. So watch out for that. But take your energy and learn how to channel your energy. And it's for you to continue to love unconditionally, but without being so attached to people, places, and things. And this is how you win. Because you are the Neptune uh, rising or the Pisces rising. This makes you the one who, who love to nurture the world, who love to help many people, who's very free heart, very giving. So watch out not to give to anybody because people take advantage of your niceness and kindness. So we got Pisces right here. Neptune is very stylish, very creative. Got a uh, photographic mind, love photography, love videos, love to have fun. Neptune love to do anything to do with energy sources, gemstones, astrology, numerology. So this type of stuff that you into, you into all divinations. This excites you going into the unknown and the secrets of the unknowns is something that you do best. And so spirituality and having faith is what makes you a powerful Libra because you could be definitely one of the best spiritual masters, teachers on the planet and or gurus or sages in the world. So we got Pisces ascendance. This gives you the ability to create for your imagination and you could you got the ability to manifest whatever you think. Or whatever you feel. Yeah. So your attentions should, should be good. If it's not, you will create bad attentions. And you could be addicted to drugs and alcohol. So watch out for, for drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction, or anything like that. Because you want to escape society when something go wrong. Because you don't want to confront the world problems. That's when you're on the downside. But if you're on the upside and you keep your faith and trust in the universe... You can use your powers to win in everything. You can speak it, you can write it, and you, you can put it out into the universe, and it will manifest itself. Because it's the power that you have as a Pisces rising or ascendance. So with it being said, use your creative powers, because you're definitely the ultimate creative artist. You're very beautiful, very talented, and you're the musician of all the signs. You got all the abilities, because you play all the energy centers, all the chakras. So learn about anatomy science and this is how you win and how to utilize your energy and you will make it learn how to utilize your psychic energy to help people because you love to help people you love to give to people and so you definitely nurturing and caring and loving but watch out from isolating yourself and this is how you win so because you are the ultimate libra the libra is very spiritual because not only is you a pisces rising but you also cancer moon makes you already two cardinals and you mutable the way you you the way you appear, you're very adaptable to anybody, any situation, like a chameleon. So just watch out not to be fake and uh, and try to be your true self at all times. And this is how you will win in any environment. Because you're the type who stay in your mind, stay dreaming. So so through dreams you get psychic visions. So utilize this to help you and, and study psychic visions and try to understand it. So this is all I have to say about you is I can't let bring it as light. It gets the rhythm than this. I'll show you.